Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday, it's the 18th of October, I think I've caught up with the mods now. We've got one update today, the 114G and 124G series by Nazif Modding, Eric Isaac, Agro Mods and AJ3D has had an update in front of me. We have got the Lizard Cultivator, or Slod, I think Sled. 1.21 uh, megabytes download, 4 slots on console, 3.5 metres wide. This is by Macus. I love the rocks, just on the rock trap on the back, just to weight the thing down a little bit more. You can put a concrete slab on there, anything you like, I guess. Uh, this you will find under Cultivators. 2,500. 45 horsepower required, we can change the main colour from red to blue. I haven't tried this yet. It should work. It's like I've said before, some things seem obvious, you try them and they're not. And other things that seem complicated turn out they're not at all. But it should just cultivate. There we go, not a shallow cultivator though, as you can see. This is just sort of tearing the ground, I mean technically kind of a leveller, flat there. Plain. 3.5 meters cultivator, cheapest chips, does the job. Very nice indeed. Uh, that's by Macus. Next we have got the KPSH3. This is by Jarvis1. This is a subsoiler. It is 2.10 megabytes download, three slots on console, three meters wide. You'll find it, unsurprisingly, under subsoilers because it's a subsoiler. There we go. 5,000, requires 80 horsepower. Options on this, we can change the main colour to any one of those. Like so. So we should get a ploughed state, shallow cultivated look. And it's doing just that. I do like the detail on this, when you raise it up and then disconnect it, the the turn screws turn to wind the wheels down. Nice little touch, but it works and it looks good. So there you go, fairly straightforward, the KPSH3 by Jarvis1. Moving on from there. As you probably saw from the thumbnail, I tried to do it in a kind of farm setting today, the stuff just kind of worked. We've got just a shed over here. This is by BK Mods, 0 0.76 megabytes download, five slots on console and 5,000 to buy. You'll find that under build mode and sheds. It does have lighting. I, I haven't found the light switch. So I'm assuming the lighting is automatic. This can be rotated around any degrees. This isn't a 90 degree or sort of, it doesn't click around. It sort of swings around fairly straightforward. Plenty of room above for either putting bale stacks or larger vehicles and machinery, whatever you want to put under it. It's entirely up to you, but for five grand. Nice bit of kit. Lovely, just a shed by BK Mods. Next, we've got the Karcher. HDSC711. This is by Arek. 3.29 megabytes download, four slots on console, 9,500 to buy. Click on it. Jet wash, obviously there is a range on this. There you go. Because it does have a a hose. You'll find it in the build mode and tools, this one. There you go. Slot count will come down to one. Very nice indeed. Next, we've got this. This is the Winter Cow Barn by Missy B. It doesn't have a pen or a pasture on the outside. This is where you bring the animals in. When the weather is inclement, they stay in, in the dry. Not always necessarily warm, but dry. Um, this is 8.56 megabytes download, 14 slots on console, 50,000 to buy. So it's by Missy B, by Missy B. This holds 50 cows. We've got a water point here. They require water. This isn't one of the barns where you don't have to. I have to say, the level of detail, I do like the slatted wood on the sides, and it just it looks really good. Um, your milk point is here because the milk is just inside. This gate does open. Once you've opened it, you actually have to come inside a little bit and then turn around, or actually come inside a little bit, and the, uh, the dialogue box will come up. So we've got 15 of 50 in there. So the milk point is there. 
So the milk triggers on the outside, and as you can see, the water trough is here with the pipe going through. That's why the tank is there. Your straw bedding needs to come in here. Literally, as you come inside, the trigger appears, but you're going to need something fairly low to unload it, or a bale shredder or something like that. It's entirely up to you. The food trough runs along the front here, and your slurry point is around the back. Now, one thing I will say, I assume that's the light switch. However, because this trigger for the feed is right here on top of it, I've tried all sorts. I've tried sneaking up on it, I've tried crouching, I've tried jumping, I've tried coming the other side, I've tried all different, and I can't get to that light switch. If, if indeed it is a working light switch, I've tried sort of, like I say, distance and tried all different things, and I can't get to work. It probably just needs moving along a post or something like that, but anyway. Um, so this you'll find under build mode, animals, and that one on the end there for cows. Slot count comes down to one for your 50 cows. The winter cow barn by Missy B. Slurry points around here at this end. And if you do want manure, you'd have to place a separate manure heap because it does take straw. Um, so you can get manure from it as well. Lovely. Uh, next we have got, oh yes, we've got this. Hidden behind these bales, we have got the Lizard 3 Point Mover. This is by Venom Mods. 0 0.44 megabytes download, one slot on console. There's a few different options for this. You'll find it when you've got it installed under tools and miscellaneous just there 1800 slot counts one anyway so you can have it as just a bale spear so a three point mounted bale spear you can have it a gooseneck hitch just for moving stuff around i don't think it's necessarily designed for trans long haul transportation but for moving things around the yard you can have gooseneck hitch and spear which is quite handy or you can just have it as a trail hitch so you can put three point Oh, if you've got anything with three point, you need a particularly you need a trail hitch, and it doesn't have one. Um, you can do that, and then back to bell spear again. Uh, you can change the colour to anything on this palette. We have got glosses and sort of satins. Uh, let's go with the see, sort of satiny, shiny. I suppose that's supposed to be a matte. I always say satin, but so a whole load to choose from from there. So as it stands at the moment, I've got some bales on it. Let's start that up. Fire lower that down that should give me enough pressure on there to remove, remove the spikes if i raise it up a little bit and it's kind of two two bales square you'll probably get away with and um i would say probably one round so you can get the top one off there as well but i mean only well, actually, you can't really tilt it so that's a little bit trickier as well so yeah probably two at a time but then if i lower it down and back up The gooseneck, like I said, the angle's not great. But you can move stuff around. Obviously, that's just one particular gooseneck trailer, but there you go. So, the Lizard Three Point Mover by Venom Mods. Jolly handy bit of kit. Uh, moving on from there, we have got this over here next. We've got the Lizard L359T. This here. This is a 35,961 litre fuel tanker. It's by Permas Modding, 2.77 megabytes download, five slots on console. It will only take fuel. It's not on all liquids. Nice detail on that, I like that. There's a few different options to choose from with colours and things like that. So, you'll find it... I think this was under miscellaneous. There we go. 44,000. You have on the back lights NA or lights EU, North American EU. Tank colour, we start with the chrome. There's a stainless steel. Then we run through the regular colours. Really, so I think I put it on stainless steel, but you can pick whatever colour you want. Uh, frame colour does the chassis and under section like that, and then ladder colour on the front. So we can change the ladder colour. Tell them why I change the same colour. There we go. Uh, tank support colours. That's the bits underneath. Let's go with something that stands out. Rim colour, we've got a chrome, a grey is like a, well the grey is like a silver actually, it's just a little bit more muted I guess. And then right out to a white if you want, then there's a licence plate option on there too. Um, there's not much else to say about that one really, you don't need to open it or anything uh, to, to get the fuel in, you should just get a, get a refill come up. Um, start the lights, indicators, I think 
Yeah, the but I was just wondering whether the toolbox section down the side there opened, but I don't think it does. So fairly straightforward. The Lizard L three five nine T by Permas Modding. Next, we've got this. This is brilliant. This is one of those ones you look and go, oh okay. And then when I got it out, I thought that's really cool. I really like that. Um, this is the Parker 2500 grain, uh, Gravity Wagon by Rooster Mods. 6.23 megabytes download and six slots on console. Now, the premise behind this being the Parker Gravity Wagons were sold, either assembled on a chassis with wheels or without a chassis. So you could just buy the Parker bit on the top. So if a farmer already had a chassis or had an old trailer bed or trailer base, they could put it on themselves. That's why the Parker top is sitting on a John Deere base something a bit different in it um but what i like about this one it's just i just think it's, it's just really cool but when this opens up um the handle rotates to open the shoe and it's, it's got some really nice details on it uh this you'll find under regular trailers 8200 for the base model and it takes pretty much everything we have no extension, 8,800 litres, or you can have with extension, 11,300 litres. And the price is, yeah, brilliant for that. Uh, then you've got on the back, old triangle or new triangle. Now, this has already got a bit weird. Design, old logo and new logo. I couldn't see any difference at all between the two, other than it charges you an extra 25 for the new logo. Anyway, regardless of that, um, so what we'll do, hop in, start this up. So what we do have under L1 and R1, right stick up and down extends the arm. So you can push it further away from you if you've got something with maybe a spout or, you know, um, something with a longer arm or something hanging off the back or whatever, you can adjust the uh, length of the, of the throw of the arm. And then when we unload, what's this, look? That rotates and lifts the shoot up. I just has a really cool feat to that. I don't know why I was so not blown away by it, but I just thought it was really cool. Nicely detailed, nice little tanker, great price. Does the job. The Parker 2500 Gravity Wagon by Rooster Mods, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. I'm saying that while I'm checking to my right to make sure. Nothing else has dropped while I've been doing this. So, last of the mods for today, the 18th of October, is the Pack Mahindra Retriever 1000. This is by Agro Tonio, 19.6 megabytes download. These are 12 slots each. Now, these do work with the passenger feature in the Kubota DLC, uh, the four seater version, let's say the standard version for two people, the four seater version, and the extended bed version. Um, all compatible with the DLC passenger feature in the Kubota pack. So we've got the car, the, um, huh, that's not the cargo. We'll go through it. Um, oh, there's a specific name for it. It's crew, the crew back, isn't it? The crew one. Crew cab. So there's that one. Double seat with back. And then we've got the more sort of cargo. Yeah, crew and cargo. But these have got some other really cool features as well. So we'll have a look at them. God, blimey, I made a mess of that, didn't I? Um, right, cars. Yeah, it's crew. It's just the Retriever 1000 crew. The Retriever 1000 and the Retriever 1000 Lonk bed. Uh, 20,200 base model, 17,200 base model, 18,200 base model. So options on these. As you can see, they take all crop types if you go for a back. This one at the moment has got a load capacity in the back of 460. Or a load capacity of zero, so it, it won't put you can't put any crops or anything in it, but it does have straps in it. You can then go for open body work, just the cover, so you can I could put logs and stuff, I guess, and, and hold it in place, but also straps. You can have a load capacity of 700, load capacity zero, open body work, just the cover, and then back as it was. We've got the option of BKT, Michelin, Nokian, Midas, back again. Now they don't have any tire options within those, but we do have rim one. Rim 2, Rim 3, Rim 4, Rim 5, back to Rim 1. I think the rims are all exactly the same. They're just a slightly different size depending on the tyre choice you go for, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, we've got bumper option, no or yes. Side protection, we've got no. You can have straps, mesh netting or off. Awning, so you can have a cover on the top, yes or no. Then we've got windows, partial, complete or off. I always think the partial is like, what's my thing? My uncle used to wear a pair of glasses that he used to perch on the end of his nose that he needed for reading. So he would always look down through them. It reminds me of that, that kind of looking down through a little, I, I sorry, it just pops into my head. And then we've got LED light on the front, yes or no. Now, we've got standard colour, and if I go down to main colour, we've got all of these to choose from, and there's a whole load in here, including chromes and shiny ones and all various different things. Um, so if you go for a standard on camouflage, you can change the main colour. If I go back up to camouflage and change it, we've got carbon fibre, which looks mint. Uh, we've then got camouflage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and back to standard. If you've gone for any of the camouflages, when you change the main colour, it makes no difference. The camouflage stays as it is, so just so you know. And those camouflage options are available on all three, as are, um, uh, what was I say? The, the main colour options we're looking at as well. So that was for camouflage. Then we've got stickers, design one, design two. So on the back there, Red Retriever or Black Retriever sticker. Attaches on the back, we've got a standard trailer hitch, or we can have a three point link on there. I think that's the same, same on each one as well. So if you've gone for a standard color, you've got main color we've just looked at. Seat color, we can change the inserts. Why did I go for the same color? That was genius. So we can change the inserts to mix and match. Uh, Bodywork, let's go with something that stands out a bit. Let's go with blue. Now, why hasn't that changed? Is that if we go for, hang on. Side protection. Which one is bodywork? Maybe that's, I'm trying to think what options I've gone for that, or what options I could have added on that would give me bodywork. Nothing has changed to blue. Brake calipers, we can change the colour of those if you want to change the colour of those. They're on red at the moment, now we've changed them to yellow, any colour you want. Rim colour. Or if you want to go for something shiny, you can. Again, it's the type of you. Licence play option. So that's the crew version. The what we consider, I suppose, the standard retriever. Again, a 460 zero open body work, just the cover. 700 zero open body work cover on the back section. Exactly the same options for our tyres and our rims. Twice is pretty cool, actually. Like those. Uh, same with the bumper, side protection, same awning, the same windows, LED light, camouflage. Again, goes to all the different camouflage options, same as before. Stickers, again. Attaches on the back, three point if you want it. Main colour. Seat details. Let's try bodywork again, see if anything changes. Can't see what's changing. Uh, brake calipers again, rim colour and licence plates. And then we move to the last of them, the Lonk bed. 1,800 litres capacity, capacity zero, so you can just have it for pallets and things like that. Open body work, just the cover, back to 1,800. Same choices for the tyres, bumpers, side protection, awning, windows, everything. Exactly the same. So the camouflage, uh, the carbon fibre does look good. The sticker design didn't change one, this one I found. Uh, attaches again, main colour, seat details, bodywork, brake calipers and rib colour with the licence plate option on there too. Now what is very cool about these? Horn, lights and the LED light if you've gone for that. Indicators in the front. But we've also got, if we go to L1, now depends which option you've gone for on this one. L1 and right stick side to side, tips the back. Up and down, opens just the back, so you can do either of those. Straps, as you can see in there, if you've got the load capacity. If I go R1, 
and right stick up and down the side side, nothing happens. You'll see why when we get to the light ones. But L1 and R1, if I do right stick up and down, watch this. We've got a little bit of height adjustment on the suspension, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little touch there, isn't it? The only thing I will say, and I've said this with a few different vehicles that have come out recently, there's a bit of suspension travel, bit of movement. When you think of some of the vehicles we've got and some of the suspension travel on other mods, I when I saw this and I saw the suspension adjustment up and down, I thought, oh, this is going to have some really great range of movement. It hasn't really. It's got quite a stiff suspension on it. Um, I went over to one of the mounds I have at the back and to try it out, and it, it's fairly stiff, I'm not going to lie. But that's the crew version. That seems really tiny now, but same option again. Raise and lowering the suspension, which is pretty cool. Straps in the back, I went for the open one on that. Now, obviously, you can see that clips into the three point if you've got the three point on there. Something to be aware of. I didn't go for a light on that one. Half window. Very cool. But I do get up a bit of speed as well. As you can see, I went for the mesh sides on that one. And then the long bed. Went for a more silvery look on the long bed. Again, light, but on this one, you'll see because of the different back I've got on this, I've got the larger back, this is where the difference is. If I go L1, R1, I can raise it lower. Ah, now I have lost the option. That's interesting. Right, because I filled this 1,800 litres, if I go unload here, it will unload. So I need to be unloaded for the other features to appear. I wasn't aware of that, but that's something worth knowing. And obviously if I come alongside, I assume it will tip to the side, it might not do, we'll have a look. See what, it'll probably just tip to the back again. It's pretty empty actually, I'm not going to lie. Once it's unloaded I'll show you. Because it should give me the other options back again. So now, under R1, right stick up and down, and right stick side to side, we can open the sides as well. So those were the options I couldn't have, or didn't use, on the other two, because I didn't have the back that's got the sides open and close. So it's one of those functions that, with the correct piece on, the correct option chosen, you can do that and that. And then under L1, and right stick up and down, and do that and that. So it depends which one you want to go for. Open the whole lot up, just makes it easy for loading and stuff I suppose. If you've got bales on there or stuff you just want to dump off, you absolutely can. And we just will also have the uh, suspension movement on this one as well. That's really cool. Neat, I think is what, the, well it's not what kids say anymore, when I were a lad. Very neat. So the Pack Mahindra Retriever 1000 by Agro Tonyo. And that's it for the mods for today. I would just like to explain something. Well, there's a couple of things. One, I've got, I, have to do, I haven't done my monthly, my monthly thing. If you're looking for a multiplayer server, um, G Portal is used by my Discord server. We do have a link in the description. And if you go over to the Discord server, we've got some servers running, some games running on there. Um, very affordable prices, great customer service. They do a great job. Into the connections, very good, and that kind of thing. So if you want to host, um, there is a discount code. So if you're looking for something along those lines, G Portal may be the way to go. The other thing is, um, yesterday's mod review, I did put a post up saying. So I finished the mod review and posted it or sent it off to YouTube at 6 p.m. yesterday evening. At midnight, when I went to bed, it still hadn't processed HD. So that had gone from me, it was at YouTube within half an hour of me uploading. Gone off my PlayStation, off to YouTube. YouTube then has to do checks, so it does checks running, then the processing to HD. Now that normally doesn't take too long. Sometimes it hits a bit of a glitch. 
Now, what will often happen is it, sometimes it takes through the night. I'll wake up in the morning and it'll have processed and I'll come just post it. So I got up this morning about half past six. So that was 12 hours, 12 and a half hours after I first sent it off. It still hadn't processed HD. I would tried uploading three other versions of the same video. All of them got stuck on processing HD. In the end, I posted the video at 360p, which I know for some people will probably drive them insane. I wasn't really sure what else I could do. It will probably process to HD at some point. I'm hoping this doesn't do the same thing because then two other videos I posted today posted without a problem. Within half an hour, 40 minutes, I'm up, done, checks run, processed HD, no problem. But I just wanted to clarify because I know people were messaging me and saying, are you aware it's only 360? Um, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. It's one of those things I just have to kind of... I've tried a few different ways around of doing it and that was it. So anyway, that's it. Sorry, just thought I'd explain. Uh, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.